Keep it going for everybody else. I'm the last one. Um, <laughs> you're here first, but I'm last. I don't know what that means. <laughs> and we had to uh, thank my friend Walter. I hate you for coming up here earlier and, and uh, singing on the hand drum. And I know some of you were like, oh, this is beautiful Native American singing. He's like, I got drunk and cheated on my woman. <laughs> 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 <It's> wonderful. <laughs> Um, so how would I describe my art? I take the word art and I put an F in front of it. Um, and I joke about that word. Um, but I don't like to use that word because it's... Actually, I do. But I like to use it less because people complain. Uh, so I just, when I do that, I just tell people I'm deflating. Like, oh, I'm just, sorry, I'm deflating. And because uh, I'm a, a really high quality inflatable Native American. Um, so, yeah, finding common ground. As I mentioned, I'm a nerd, and I, you know, I don't, I tend to have troubles thinking you're, you know, accomplishing finding common ground and connecting with people. So, um, yeah, this is hopeless. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sure this is an act. <laughs> um, so I was thinking, you know, oh, I could, you know. I could go and like Google Vietnam and then write jokes about it. And, uh, but, that's, but that's what Robin Williams did in Good Morning Vietnam, and that would be annoying. So, oh, all that way, just for the play on words. Um, but we get that a lot as Native Americans. People don't know anything about us pretty much at all. And maybe they read one book and then they try to talk to us. Or we get asked a lot of questions. You find your Native American, like, oh my god, that's so cool. I said, I know. <laughs> That's the only cool thing about me, though. <laughs> um, so I have to overcome that. Um, but we do get asked a lot of weird questions. And, and, and there's not that many of us around, you know, in comparison to everybody the rest of the world. So it's like we can't answer all the questions. It's like we run out of It's like, I gotta go. I, this is a great question. Um, I've been asked them 30 times this week. I don't know, I should really stop dressing in my a traditional outfit. This is bad. And so we just need pamphlets. Like, so you just met an Indian, here you go. Let's just read that and then we'll talk. And, uh, and I mentioned Scorpio because no one ever asks us what our zodiac sign is. When people find out you're Native American, they'd rather find out what your tribe is to see if you're compatible. I guess, I don't know why that, actually, that's actually what we do at powwows at the 49. We ask what tribe we are to make sure uh, we're not related. Um, <laughs> Or sometimes, if you're you're not interested in the person, you just slip it in there. Hey, how's it going? Who's your wait? Who's your grandfather? <sighs> We're related. See you. <laughs> Can't go there. Um, so, but I do actually, in order for people to know I'm Native American, I do have to announce it because I'm I'm mixed blood. My dad, as I mentioned, is, is white, or she mentioned, and my mom is Native American. And uh, but when I was uh, when she squeezed me out into the world, that's the way my tribe says it, I squeezed him out into the world. <laughs> I made that up. Um, but anyway, when I, she squeezed me out into the world, I was I had blonde hair. I was a blonde baby. If you can imagine that, coming out of a full-blooded Native American woman, well, everybody freaked out. That's pretty much like, holy crap, it's not done yet. Put it back in. We gotta... Put that baby just a little bit in there. and. Uh, but the nurse saved me, she's like, no, it's just like their sacred white buffalo to these people. Just touch it for good luck. It's really... And, um, but, to, you know, to let you guys know, for Native American community, it, it really becomes an issue. Like, you're, we actually, blood quantum, that's it's actually what we ask each other. What's your, how much are you? What are you? How much? Half. Oh, okay. And, uh, but we, when we're dating, we actually have to do fractions to figure out what our kids are going to be. Oh, what are you, three quarters? Oh, so where's the napkin? Is it the, oh, what's the common denominator? I'm sorry, I can't talk to you. This is too much math. I don't, it's awkward. Um, so that's that's the reality there. I, uh, but yeah, I went to Stanford for. I'm sorry, this is the UCLA gathering. Um, I didn't show up here and be a dick. And be all like, oh. nah, no, no. As long as I'm not in USC, right? Am I right? Hey. Anyway, I'm sorry, your football team will be good eventually again. Um, so anyway, hey, what the... Where's the common ground, man? Um, what happened? We were so cool. Um, so yeah, I had a kid, and, uh, 
and my baby's mama. She's Mexican American. Found some common ground. Uh, figured it was close enough. To Native American. Um, but I'm not kidding. This is we we met back at Stanford. We kind of kept in touch and drifted apart. We never went out in the but then a few years back. Oh, and uh, I remember you. Um, anyway, she stalked me. Um, so I was like, fine, this must mean something. Um, <laughs> I'm a nerd, I don't know people's stuff. I'm like, is that stalking? That's good, right? I mean, that's good. I mean she cares, I'm pretty sure there's something real there. With the obsession. And I'm serious, she had like a shoebox of our old emails from college. I was like, wow, that's a shoebox. All right, well, let's date. <laughs> um, and, uh, but I did, I was like, well, you know, you know, I want to have to explain everything because she's Mexican American. There's native blood in there. Get it. And as soon as she got pregnant, she got right in my face and she said, "You know, our baby's gonna be bilingual, right? You know this, right?" I was like, "Uh, sure. She can learn my tribal language. That'll be great. There you go." She's like, "Oh crap, that's right. You guys have languages too." <laughs> I really thought that one out. Um, but she was really cool. Like she went, she go, she Googled my tribe Ojibwe and uh, found. One of our language programs, and actually ordered like a language kit and stuff with some like a dictionary and some like refrigerator magnets with words on and stuff. And she's like, "Here, our kid's gonna be trilingual." I was like, crap! Now I gotta learn my language. I was just, <laughs> I was just being a dick. I was actually, I was just trying to point out, "Hey, I'm kind of brown too." Wrong <laughs> words. Because um, Ojibwe is a hard language to learn. It's considered one of the three hardest languages in the world. This is how you say goodbye in Ojibwe: Gigawabamin Minuwa. I know, who's got it? that's a long goodbye. It's like, I got things to do. I don't like long goodbyes. I got, I got five minutes left. See, I just ran over my time just with that joke. Uh, it sounds like something Jabba the Hutt would say, though. Giggle wobble me, me no wa, ho, 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 solo. The Honorable Jabba says goodbye. That's what we got to do with people. That's the best question I've ever been asked about being Native American. Someone asked me if it was true that aliens visit us on our reservations. And uh, I was very proud of myself because I thought this up on the spot. I said, I'm sorry, we're not allowed to talk about that. <laughs> I just walked away. Oh, but that, wait. Oh, you can't say it. <laughs> and then someone else asked me, one time a butterfly landed on me, and a dude asked me if I was Buddhist. Are you Buddhist? I was like, oh, here we go. No, I'm Native American. Oh, I was like, oh, I knew that was something. I was like, I was like at Burbank at the theater, movie theater, waiting for a friend. Like big people, they're like all around. Oh, butterfly, what are you? <laughs> like the butterfly, was like such a bitch. White people, boom, Persian, Native American. I was like, <laughs> I, just, I just killed it. I was like, come on, a stereotype. That's why I'm offended. Don't piss me off. <laughs> so yes, we had a little kid, and uh, we're both went to Stanford, so we're both nerds. And I read that nerd breeding is dangerous. I don't know if anyone else read this story, because not because you're gonna get hurt, because they found in the Bay Area that there's a high incidence of autism up there, because you take the social awkwardness and you combine it, and it becomes like <laughs> autism. And I'm like, well, what is that? Okay, so what are my choices at this point? <sighs> Anyway, so we did it anyway, and uh, and recently we did find out we found my daughter just turned five, and we found out a few months about four months ago that my daughter is autistic. So that's been a very difficult thing because you know like the first thing when she was born we like threw a little Stanford T-shirt on she's going to Stanford she's gonna be super you know we're gonna be those parents that are annoying and then uh, but she's always been a little developmentally behind and. Uh, and then we were like debating, it's like, should we get her a leash? Or what's the deal here in this, you know? You see that, I know some people shake their heads, man, that's not a dog, you shouldn't do that. I was like, hey, we're training her for the Iditarod, so you gotta be a little more respectful than that. But, uh, but she's actually, my baby's mom, she's really kind of uncoordinated, and my daughter's kind of quick. She's got, because I'm athletic, so she's got some of that, and, and she says she can't keep up, and I'm like, well, we don't want to run in the streets, so let's at least get a leash. So we got one, and uh, you just one of those ones where you press the button, and it comes right back to you. Finish her! Like, no, oh, it's my daughter. Say that. <sighs> but it's cool, you know, out here in LA, you know, my Jibway, we're, we're from the Great Lakes area, so it's kind of tough. 
to teach her about my tribe. Well, there's a lot of us. We're one of the bigger tribes. We're the third largest tribe in the country. Have you heard of us? Some of you, most of you. So our marketing sucks. That's the problem. We have like a MySpace page. Like, oh, really? Still? Tribal chairman. So um, but we're the ones that came with the dream catcher. So that's... Yeah, it's embarrassing. Please don't clap. It's fine. It's not big enough. It's so sacred. We're just spoiling our culture. And um, it's beautiful, though. Um, <laughs> and we don't get along with other tribes that are around us. I'm just going to be honest with you. We're like, the Lakotas, have you heard of them? We call them Sioux. I know a lot of people do, but that's a derogatory term we made up for them. Yeah, they're the snakes in the grass. They had like, we were like with the French explorers. Who's that guy? Those are the snakes in the grass. What about those guys? Those are the stinky water people. That's what Winnebago means. That's our name for them. The stinky water people. No, we're Ho Chuck. No, they're Winnebago. Just call them that. Write it down. Write it down. <laughs> we're kind of the dicks of the Great Lakes area. Um, but we don't get along. Okay, I'll try to speed this up. This might go a minute over. So, anyway, so what happens when tribes don't get along with each other, you know, since we can't kill each other anymore? Civilization, whatever. Anyway, our time, we'll see. And um, so what we do is we tease each other like about like what we eat. So the Lakotas, they eat puppies. So we make fun of them for that. Like, oh, here you go, here's some gum, dog breath. And, and then they come back at us, and they're like, whatever, rabbit chokers. It's like, rabbit chokers, really? Mom, really? Is that what we just, yeah? We get the snare out there, and the rabbit get in there, go, go. Like, holy crap, Mom. That's like her death face. Like, <laughs> and it was very inspiring though, I'd never seen her like, oh. so I would, like, went to the mall, to the pet store, and I just snuck up on that little rabbit, and I was like, you're not doing good job, and I was like, oh. you know, and all the kids are crying, I'm like, hey, I'm Native American, it's my culture, don't worry, I'm gonna eat the whole thing, you can have the feed for good luck, or whatever, and then they're all like, whatever, and they walked away, and I was like, what are you talking about, this is impressive. But there's a Lakota guy over there stabbing the puppies, like, oh, and we always gotta one-up each other, right, like, oh. Killing the cute, most kind of cute animal, right? So I told my girlfriend that she went over and ran over a kitten with the car. I'm like, no, that's not how you do it. Um, she was trying to find common ground. I was like, that's just me. Um, they can't do this. So there's all different people here. There's like Alaska natives, which we don't see too many Alaska natives back in the Midwest. And um, so I was like, cool, man. Well, let's go clubbing. And they're like, what? There's no baby seals around here. <laughs> Good. And thank you guys very much for...